what else would you say you're trying to promote with this uh, outlet that you've created for yourself? With Central Coasting with Adri? I yeah. feel like I just want to promote happiness. Okay. <laughs> and I want people, like, when they look at my videos, be like, oh, that's, like, a really cool spot that I want to take my family mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. Or that's a good spot Um, that, like, date night. I had posted a video on YouTube of Big Sur and some guy just recently messaged me and was like, I just want to say, like, I know you're not posting videos on YouTube, but I think it's um, amazing what you're doing. And you actually gave me the idea for where to propose to my wife. And oh, I was okay. like, wow, oh. like, that's, that's amazing. Okay. Yeah. So take that in cash. <laughs> you be like, I did that. <laughs> Adri, welcome to Two Dads in a Pod. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. It's okay, you don't have to be like... Let's get <laughs> you don't have to be nice to us. Um, yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen a couple of your um, Instagram posts and stuff. I, I, it was funny because when, when Miguel was... When we were talking about it, he's like, yeah, I have a friend who's an influencer. And I was like... Looked around and I was like, "Hey, is that the it's central?" Po- it's been popping up on your. Yeah. It's been popping up on my feet, and I Which said, is "That's a good a, sign." Yeah, and I oh. said, "Is that?" I was like, "Is that the Central Coast girl?" And he was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> influencer. I don't know about influencer, but I mean, that's, that's we technically what we we yeah. looked at your stats, so it's it looks pretty good. Oh, nice. Well, as well yeah. as, as far, it, if somebody asks asks us like, "Oh, what does she do?" It's like influencer. Yeah. 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 See, that's yeah. What, that's what that's, that's true. So tell us a little, like, tell us where who you are, where people can find you, and then we'll go from there. So my name is Adri. I am the face behind Central Coasting with Adri. I post daily videos sharing all the amazing things to do in the Central Coast, from hikes, wineries, breweries, restaurants, family-friendly activities. I cover it all. Also, yeah. my big question to begin with financially, how do you handle do, going <laughs> to all know, these know, places? Seriously, <laughs> how, do you have a card where you're just like, hey, press <laughs> <laughs> this oh, post? We should, is we should think about we that. We should, we should think about that. <laughs> <laughs> This post is sponsored by my fiance Derek Wells. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> no, fiance then. Yes, fiance. Okay. No. But it's it's it is nice because now that I'm getting more recognition, like I went wine tasting the other day at a winery, and they comp the tasting and they comp the bottles. So because they knew who they you knew introduced the yourself, or at least they knew who they you were. They knew who I was, and um, I had a friend. I didn't even know he worked there, but he works at this winery, and he's like, "I haven't seen you in so long." Like. <laughs> Let me, you know, like, let me cover everything. And I was like, oh, okay. Helps to know people, right? Uh, I know. <laughs> it's not what how did, um, <laughs> So how did that come about? Like, how did you first think about doing this? So I contemplated about starting a YouTube channel for about five years. And I was just really scared. And I just kept doubting it. And I'd be like, oh, next year I'll do it. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do it. I, right now is not the good time. And then finally I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I, I set up an email for my YouTube channel and but I still didn't know what I was going to do and there was one day when we had just left the water park and I was in the back of my brother's car and my sister-in-law was there too and I was like you know what we should go here we should go like over here like for our next adventure and I was like oh my god you guys like this is what my channel is going to be like sharing the beautiful yeah. central coast. And we kept bouncing names around like what we would call it. And it was actually my sister-in-law who's my best friend or soon to be sister-in-law. She's like, well, what about like central coasting with Adri? And I was like, Oh my God, <laughs> that's perfect. And origin story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it just kind of evolved from there. I, I started posting on YouTube in 2017 and I, it was kind of hard for me to see the growth there, and I feel like making YouTube videos is a lot of work, and I don't think people realize how much yeah, it, it is yeah. to become a content creator and um, every day, like, just come up with something new. So then I was like, well, let me try Instagram a little bit, and um, I was posting on Instagram as well, and then kind of the same thing, wasn't really seeing a lot of growth, and then I actually went into the movie theaters one day, which was like a couple months ago, maybe, Yeah. and I was doing a reel of like the best, or things to do in Paso Robles, yeah. and Miguel was like, are you on TikTok? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no. I'm on TikTok for sure. <laughs> I was like, oh, TikTok. <laughs> 
I was like, um, I posted one this thing. This thing on with TikTok. On TikTok. <laughs> well, you talk about that today. Wait, I've, I've talked so much about it. But anyway, I, I think everybody's already heard me talk about it too much. Anyway, sorry. Continue. No, it's okay. And um, I had like two videos on TikTok. And then it's like, no, you need to be consistent with it. So I actually started being more consistent with it. And now one of my videos has over 100,000 views, which is really, really cool. I saw that. No, oh, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. How many uh, YouTube subscribers do you have? Do you know? Um, YouTube subscribers, last time I checked, was like 500. Not, okay. not a lot. It's way more, it's than, way more than ours. <laughs> we got 17. 17. Yeah. A whopping yeah. 17 we, we, hit those du- we hit those double digits real quick. Yeah, we, yeah, oh, we yeah. do. Yeah, we do. Um, yeah, TikTok <laughs> is just... I. It, there's so much attention on there right now. And it's just it, it, ridiculous. However, I think with their stories that they just started doing, yeah, I think that's going to backfire, to be honest. But I don't like that's that. on my head. I don't like that. I feel like TikTok is completely different from like Facebook and Instagram. And now that they're in, like starting those stories, I don't, I don't like that because it's too much like <coughs> Instagram. Yeah. Well, it's just another social media thing. They have to keep up with yeah. each other. Yeah. Because, you know, like, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like at one time I had Snapchat. I don't have it anymore. But uh you know, that was the thing. And then Instagram started doing their Instagram stories, which is basically a freaking Snapchat. Yeah. Right? yeah that so disappears. Like, it disappears stories. after yes, what's, yeah. yeah. I remember when uh, I was on Instagram and they came out with stories and nobody ever posted stories oh, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And I would see one or two friends like posting about like, so like their dinner plate or something. It was like the most random thing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wow, this is going to be a big thing. And now it's like, you can't find the end if you follow a lot of people true, yeah. on how many stories there are. Because that's where everybody lives now. Yeah. It's insane. And now TikTok is trying to do the stories, which I did see somebody's uh, story on there. And they were like, oh, my God, TikTok just started putting stories on there. Am I leaving Instagram? <laughs> She's like <laughs> asking herself that. And I'm just like, ah. Uh. Well, I mean, a lot of big creators say like TikTok. I mean, Instagram's out. It's like all about TikTok right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's no. subjective to I mean, it's like it's like the. It's cra- about TikTok, man. Sorry, it's like you, you know. Are you against TikTok? I think you're against <laughs> social media. No, uh, no, I'm not really against social media. I just, it just TikTok is just another. To me, it's just this trend that it just it's annoying. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah. and uh, and it makes me sound old, obviously, because it's not yeah. like it's it's a it panders a lot to the younger crowd. The younger crowd uses it a lot. Um, yeah, but like you know, here's my age here. Remember Vine. I, I, I never got into I never Vine. Got okay, into Vine. I, I, I saw a lot of videos. Yeah. I saw a lot Vine. of videos from Vine, and that's yeah. basically TikTok. TikTok it's yeah, basically yeah. that. Basically TikTok. So, like, when TikTok came out, I remember I was like, "Isn't that just Vine?" Oh, and it's yeah. just, a, it's just like, <laughs> but that's like the. Uh, this is just here's the thing. It's not for me. It's my my generation. You know, like for I just feel like it's not for my generation. Yeah, our well, generation, I guess, if you will. If but. I'm being completely honest, if I wasn't doing what I'm doing, I wouldn't be on social media because it took me a really long time to finally get on social media. I think uh-huh. I started my first or, or Instagram in 2017, and yeah, you know, and I my thing with social media is I just have one outlet which is instagram i used to have facebook at one point i had snapchat and then instagram and then at one point i just said i just need at least one and the thing is what i hated about facebook was somebody puts a post and and or no they liked some somebody you know liked something and it's Mm -hmm. on your feed and it's like oh, even if you don't like it even if you didn't like it that's how it was for facebook when when i was still facebook there were settings on there that I had to adjust. That's still a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so, it's inconvenient. It's yeah. inconvenient that I but, had to yeah. do a setting for everybody. And I'm just like, you know, somebody is like, I just took a dump. And you're like, oh, it's it's on your, it's on. It, you, you know, know the algorithm also gets, shows you things that you usually watch too. So whoever took it, if you're somebody, if you got, <laughs> no, 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 I'm, okay, I'm talking about, I'm talking about. <laughs> what do you watch? I mean, obviously. <laughs> Start Obviously, cooking steaks. You steaks, know, steaks. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is before the algorithm stuff. I, uh, I, I took myself off of Facebook by like 20, 2011, okay. 20, you know, maybe got on it again and then saw how I was just doing it. And I'm like, I, I'm really not just into you it. You saw the Facebook, right? No. You know? No, I saw Who did it add as an admin on the Facebook page? It has, has Walter well, with your like picture doing this or something. That's Instagram. Instagram is owned by Facebook. Yeah, but on, on I don't, Facebook, I don't, I don't, I don't post anything on Facebook. So That's so weird. I think it's just picking it up from the two dozen a pod is on Facebook too. 
Yeah, well, that's you do that, man. That, that's, I, I can talk shit, I'm talking shit about it, but I mean, here we are. <laughs> Miguel is using. I know. It. He's like, and you started a Twitter account, and well, yeah. See, no, the Twitter. I, you know what? Yeah, I, I guess Twitter's kind of making. I, I lied. Twitter is funny. Like, I, yeah. I guess I lied yeah. here. I, I, I do <laughs> oh. have, I do have a Twitter, but it was mostly for like two video dads. game news. Oh yeah, yeah. And then yeah, the two dads, which I'm barely even doing. I'm just. Personally, I'm just really bad with with social media. Oh, I fine. just, I just, I Instagram is the easiest one for me. It's you know, people post pictures, not just updates about what they're doing. Yeah. Granted, the one about saying no, I'm taking a dump is not the best <laughs> one that I could bring up. But I did see before people were like, I ran out of toilet paper today. You know, on like Instagram or Facebook. I have seen that on Instagram, oh. but like, uh, like on on Facebook, it yeah. was like your status well, was. I ran out of toilet paper. The face, it, <laughs> Facebook would like say, "Hey, tell people what you're doing or thinking or whatever." Yeah, mm-hmm. status and report. Status yeah, it's like yeah. I, you know, Miguel is like it would literally type it out, and I was like, I'll just film the rest. You know, going to get dinner, and that that's how it pops up on memories now. Going to get dinner, like dinner. even though in my head I was registering, Miguel is going to go d- get dinner. You're talking <laughs> to the third person. I'm talking, <laughs> going to get dinner. <laughs> I feel like sometimes people use uh, Facebook like almost like as a diary. And you're like, I yeah, don't want to yeah. know those yeah. things. Well, this, this, I think it's brilliant that they did the memory thing because mm-hmm. some of my best work is in the past. <laughs> so I literally copy the and goatee, paste. goatee, man. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, goatee. I, I copy the goatee. God, the goatee. Um, I copy and paste like funny one-liners that I had and I'll, and I'll post it again on, mm-hmm. on Twitter, take a screenshot, resize yeah. it for Instagram. And then people are like, oh, it's so funny. And, but back then I only got one like kind of thing. It's just, I think it's brilliant that they brought that back. And also, you know, some harsh memories in there too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I posted my cell phone number on there because I want to get people together for football. (laughs) Delete that old, (laughs) old post. Yeah. I mean, ultimately that's what made me get off of Facebook. And I felt with Instagram, you have to make an effort to put a picture and then subtext or like mm-hmm. a status update and that i felt back then would just take people away from like easier just like put in a status update and that's it but either way i was just getting mad the whole like my feed was just getting taken over by people liking something that i, I hate you know it just had nothing to yeah, do with me. I, like, I feel like that's yeah. linkedin right now too it keeps showing me other people's like oh, posts yeah, yeah. yeah it was people you might like the only reason why i have a linkedin is just through work so you actually yeah. have three. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, one what? doesn't. One, one wasn't even a thing. I just found out that LinkedIn, LinkedIn was for like resumes and stuff like yeah. that. No, LinkedIn is my job. I think just it just has. It's just I'm on LinkedIn because I guess maybe through the database of where I work. It just really? it. Yeah, I've never wow. created one. I don't remember ever creating one. That's I have weird. my password with it, and too I can get into it, but it's the same password as the one for work. I believe so. Under the umbrella of your of your where something you work? like that. I really don't remember. That's I just noticed that it was there. I wonder what email they use because isn't it connected to work email? email? Oh, okay. Work oh, that's email. probably oh, that. Uh, I don't. You should probably ask them. Like, hey, yo, did you guys? I also, really you was it? In, I also, I also, I <laughs> did probably I sign did. The I mean, terms and conditions. I also don't care. Yeah. Like, yeah, it, that's true. I don't. Like, use what are they it, gonna so, do? Like, yeah, say some bad things. I don't use it, so I really don't care. I mean, use your name to say bad things to other people. I mean, if they did, I mean, you'd get down, down to the bottom of it. You know, I'd be like, I didn't write that. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Who that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you, so I, I watched a couple of your, of your, of your videos on there and you have a son, correct? I do. His name's Jackson. How old is he? He just turned three on just St. Patrick's three. Day. Yeah. Oh, okay. My daughter just turned three. Nice. My youngest did too. Um, do you feel like this is kind of a nice, I guess, diary for him to see like I later do. on like of places to go of places just, to yeah go. yeah so on youtube it's kind of it's it's almost really special because it's like almost like a diary mm-hmm. so i was watching an old video of him like crawling around and i'm like oh that's that's so cool that like when he grows up he can like look back at this home movie almost yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um i was it was the next what was the next thing? I You're on a roll, dude. Come on. Am I on a roll? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, and have you have you gone through any issues going through uh, like places that you go to and any uh, attitudes from business owners? Yeah, because like, I've heard that before too. An influencer shows up and they'll make their proposals. Hey, if you let me stay here for the night, like at a hotel, mm-hmm. if you let me stay here, I'll promote you on all my social medias. Blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. And then I I read one time an owner was like. 
go to hell or something like that. Like Actually, straight up. I saw that. that when you this, go to places, do yeah. you, do you like, I'm, is it the first thing that you go up to people and be like, I'm a social media? So I just say, hi, my name's Adri. I'm a local vlogger. I share all the amazing things to do in the central <laughs> coast. Like, is it okay? I always ask like, is it okay? Oh, just yeah. to, if you can film it. If stuff I could in there. take a yeah, couple yeah. of videos and, and naturally, yeah, yeah, normally everyone says, says yes. Um, I did post a video of Morro Bay, I think like in 2018 and some, I mean, this was just like a random person mm -hmm. was like, why? Uh, like Morro Bay doesn't allow drones. I was like, well, I don't have any drone footage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking phone. <laughs> in my video. That's a bird up there. Yeah. No, uh, and then recently too, like on an Instagram post, this local, like kind of just went off on me and was like, why are you sharing this local secret? And oh, I was it's like. it's going to bring people in. Yeah. yeah I've I was heard like, about that stuff I, too. I was oh. like. Was well, it a local secret? It was like the caves. The Pismo Beach Caves. Oh. And I think I'm at this like, point, everybody knows about yeah, it. Yeah, and to me, I'm like, well, it's no different than Pirate's Not Cove. Not a secret. It's, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's no different than, like, Pirate's Cove, you know? Like, yeah. Like, people know of these things. Like, and I, and that, pay, and, like, there, I'm always like, you can't really tell me what I can and can't post just yeah. because you're a local, you know? And, I mean, I feel like the people that I'm trying to share all my stuff with is like people who are like-minded like me who mm -hmm. respect the planet that we live on and clean up after themselves like okay. they're not going to go graffiti the caves and that's not what i'm trying to promote so is there another so <clears throat> what else would you say you're trying to promote with this uh, outlet that you've created for yourself with central coasting with adri i yeah. feel like i just want to promote happiness <laughs> okay and i want people like when they look at my videos be like oh that's like a really cool spot that i want to take my family mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. or that's a good spot um that like date night i had posted a video on youtube of big sir and some guy just recently messaged me and was like i just want to say like i know you're not posting videos on youtube but i think it's um amazing what you're doing and you actually gave me the idea for where to propose to my wife and oh, i was okay. like wow like, that's that's amazing okay. yeah so take that in cash <laughs> you be like i did that <laughs> Oh, that's, that's that's nice. So that I feel like that's that's really cool. They like just I put just like ideas to propose with Adrian. I know. Oh, yeah. Tag me. Yeah, that's a good. That's that's a good. Have you ever um, gone to a business? You know, did just did the speech, took video, <laughs> and then um, do. I'm not sure if like businesses have an expectation to see this some, at some point on social media, but have you ever gone to a business and be like, okay, this wasn't this great of a business. <laughs> I'm not posting I'm this. Not posting this. <laughs> have you ever had Let that yet? You have your blooper reel. It's not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, your top 10 of places not to go not to. to, go yeah. to um, so uh, again, like I just tried to promote the yeah, positive. Yeah, the positive aspect right. of yeah it. obviously. Yeah. yeah. This is more on like the, the, the extra footage the, that you might Yeah, have. there's so if I ever have like a bad encounter with a with a business, then I just don't promote it. Don't and promote I feel it. like there's so many other places that and you could a, go that's to. A, that's that's a good way to do yeah. it without having to put shade on people. Yeah, just there, like, yeah whatever. There was one incident. Uh huh. So last March I was doing um no, it was, yeah, I was doing this uh, center coasting on a budget. Mm -hmm. I started it during the pandemic and I decided to do like um, inexpensive wine tasting in Paso Robles. And I had researched a whole bunch of different wineries to see what their, uh, their tasting fee was. And I found this really pretty winery mm -hmm. and I went and again, I introduced myself and they're like, yeah, like even the, the, um, the winemaker gave me like a free bottle of wine. He was like mm. super excited to see the video and I liked it so much. And I was like, oh, I want to bring uh, my brother and my sister-in-law here and my son Jackson. And so we scheduled tasting and the tasting was great. And I had put the video up before and while we were getting ready to leave, my son was like playing with trucks and he threw a truck into the bush and then, then this man who was making hamburgers, hamburgers came over and was uh, told us like, "Don't do that. There could be snakes in there." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, th that's fine. I understand that." And my son, being two years old at the time, just like takes off running, and so I'm like running after him, and it's the guy who's making the cook and my brother and my sister in law. They're left behind, and he says, "Look at him, dashing for the border, takes me back." Wow. And I had, I was already gone and my brother and my sister-in-law were just left behind, just like, and he just walks away, just completely stunned, like speechless. And my brother was, was like. Was the cook that said it? 
The guy yeah. was making the I'm guessing oh, he was it Caucasian. Gets, yeah, it gets I was better. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry for interrupting. Keep going. So then my brother was just like, oh, wow, like, that's racism still a thing, you know? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Um, so then I come back, and I'm like, you guys, it's fine. Like, I mean, ev- like, the guy, everyone here was, like, super friendly. The staff was friendly. The wine's great. Like, it's fine, you know? And um, it, it sucks because, like, as a Hispanic, whatever you do in that situation, you're kind of put in, like, yeah. you're in the wrong. If I go up to him and say something, oh, my God, look at that crazy Latina, you know? Yeah. If I don't say take anything, <laughs> I know, take <laughs> off the hoops. <laughs> Accent changes a little bit. <laughs> well, we, we can say that because we're Mexicans. So. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then we we go to our next winery, and then after that we had a family party. And I, I remember I was telling my family, and, like, the look on their face when I told them was just like, you didn't say anything? And I was like, I know, like, it was just like eating me up. So then I was like, you know what? It's social media. I could find out who this guy is. So I get home and I'm looking for him and I literally find him in like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. It it turns out it's the owner of the winery. The owner (laughs) of the winery. So at that point, I had I had already put the video up Mm -hmm. and the video had gotten like a lot of views. Views, I think it was like already at 5000 views, which is a lot for my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, what do I do? So what I did, I just, I just edited it. I edited them out of it. And in the description, I just put, I do not recommend this winery. Like, I don't promote, like, you know, like, or agree with, like, the racial slur. And, like, it was yeah. directed toward my son. I put exactly what happened and just left it at that. What was the, uh, has there been any uh, outcome with that? Um, actually, yeah. So I actually also wrote a review on Yelp. Okay. And um, so this happened last year. And recently, um, someone like messaged me and they're like, hey, I saw your your review on Yelp. Like um, someone said that like something happened. Like, can you tell me what happened? And I was like, well, if you want to know the full story, it's like on my YouTube channel. Yeah. You know? yeah. And um, it was cool because someone else had told her, like, don't go there. This yeah. is what happened. And you know, just, like, don't promote it. And I feel like with so many wineries in Paso Robles, like, there's so many other places that aren't There's a racist. bunch here. There's a bunch here. <laughs> yeah, there's so. a lot. Yeah. And it's competition. Yeah. I mean. And so that, that that was kind of it. And it's weird because, like, the the wife's owner follows me on Instagram. And that winery Still? follows me on Instagram, yeah. I don't think they're aware that. That they, it happened? They probably, Maybe it didn't happen. Or, I mean, I mean it did happen. Well, but yeah, you said last March, right? Last March, yeah. And okay. I went to go look for the the Yelp review, and it's not there. So maybe they took it oh, down. Oh, they probably, yeah. They So w- with Yelp, since I work for, you know, since I manage Park Cinemas, taking down a Yelp review is very difficult. Mm-hmm. The only the only time I ever see, like, an original review somewhere else is the, the unrecommended reviews. Oh. So if you go further mm-hmm. down or find that option, it'll yeah. show you all the ones that, like, people put, like, to, unre- you know, to... Well, they, people don't recommend this review because, because it's it inaccurate or whatever. Mm-hmm. So double check because maybe they have well, friends I, that, you know, fr- yeah, thumbs down it or whatever. Or yeah. Um, I'm considered like a local guide on on Google, but I don't know. Maybe like you said, really? people. Yeah. 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 Awesome. It, it's, it's, it's Google is, uh, is a hidden uh, tool as far as local guides because yeah. Crystal does a lot of reviews on there. That's mm-hmm. my wife. She does a lot of reviews and uh, people are like, Re, re, you know, uh, re, uh, reacting to it and stuff like that. So she gets excited that people are actually yeah. listening to her and stuff like that. <laughs> because a lot of the times, like, I think reviews are given such a bad rep because there's a lot of people who just like to vent on their on their own experience. But when you're like have like logistical like facts and you know yeah. all these things, like yeah, the person did actually say that. Yeah. To my two year old kid, you know, son, yeah. and uh, thinking that it was okay, it's not. And they need to know that. And that's yeah. it's plain and simple. It's not like you're going to go like, hey, go burn that place down. Like, yeah, that's not, no, not at know. all. It's like, don't go there. And yeah, just don't go there. I would hate for someone to go there and just experience what, what I experienced. Of course, yeah. You know, nobody and nobody would want that. Yeah. yeah, especially when especially when they're on a budget. Yeah. You know, they waste <laughs> exactly. that money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, go, go somewhere else. Yeah. Um, and I'm assuming it was a white guy, right? It was. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes, it was. <laughs> I, I mean... It re- you know it really doesn't matter it it's it's you know it's just something that well Paso Paso still has a lot of you know I'm I'm assuming it was like at least forty years older or older 
place. Yeah, for yeah, sure. He was, he was yeah. Like, yeah, he had to be like middle age or half. I mean, this town is so. This town is is a pretty conservative. It's a pretty conservative town. I mean, it's yeah, it still is. There's a lot of like is, hit, you lot. know, like uh, what what what's that one phrase where you're like you're um you're something but you don't like to show it like uh oh there's a phrase there's like a not undercover but like a hidden or. Oh my god! I'm gonna think about it, and it'll come up later. It's gonna come, it's yeah. gonna come back later. It's gonna come I'm gonna back just tomorrow. shout it in the middle of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, work. Like, Sorry. <laughs> um, the, the theater dims down. I got it. <laughs> yeah, you mother. I got it. Uh, but there was there's one time I was uh, growing up. I took the dollar bus a lot mm-hmm. when I was a kid uh, to school to any kind of events and stuff like that. And uh, and I remember. My car wasn't working for some reason or another, so I had to take the bus to work. And um, the guy is over by Oak Park. The guy stops at like J and J's, right? Somebody pulled the handle, stops at J and J's, picks me up, drops drops that person off, goes to the next one. Somebody you know pulls a little yeah. handle or, whatever, or the little string. All right, drops him off, and then like two blocks over, there's another stop. The girl, another a little a young girl, pulls it. And he gets upset, like visually upset that she didn't get off the one before the one before, because what's the difference walking two blocks. And then he said something to the extent of like freaking tacos or something like he Uh described them as tacos or like beans or something like that. It was something like food, Mm -hmm. Mexican dish, whatever. And I was just like sitting right behind him. Like, really? Like this, this, this is still okay. It it seriously like takes you back because you're like, like yeah. really we're, we're still what is doing this 1950s and, yeah, yeah it still it's, happens it's, i mean it's yeah. it's nowhere near um being over and done with i mean it's just i don't think it'll ever go away it will never go away i mean i've i've thought about like even if the world was very you know uh interracial like intermixed mm-hmm. we'd still humanity would still find something about another one that they just don't like and they just yeah. it would it would be it's a vicious cycle that would just keep on going no. Even if everybody well, was the same, I mean, when when uh, when I was uh, between tenth, or I want to say ninth and tenth grade, we I went to this uh, leadership institute, which which they dealt with uh, sexism, ageism, racism, uh, socialism, all that stuff, and it was some really intense experiments that we did, like upper, middle, lower class, and all that stuff. And um, well, I remember they were they were telling yeah <laughs> <laughs> things that you never realize the dynamics in the room where people sit mm-hmm. makes you know. Once you start really dissecting it, you're like, oh my God, Mexicans on one side, white people on the other yeah, side. Yeah. And you start thinking about it's like anywhere you go, you start seeing those dynamics. And granted, when I came back from that, I was a little bit more upset with the world. So anytime like a white person was talking <laughs> to me, I just looked at him like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? But uh they talked about how racism becomes a thing, right? It starts with a whole bunch of people or a group of people being stereotyped, you know. Yeah based on what they commonly do, you know, Mexicans do tend to jump the border a lot or like illegally cross and stuff like that for one reason or another. So that starts becoming a stereotype, yeah, which leads to racism, you know, and obviously it, you, you try to correct it where you can, but um, yeah, no, at any moment, like you can, you can think about any kind of stereotype. And if you really start hating on that kind of specific group, it can become some kind of ism. Yeah. yeah, that's the, that's the crazy that's part. Yeah, you know, um, if you go to wine tasting and stuff like that, and uh, you see a thirty-five-year-old white lady drinking a little too much, it's okay for society. To, the society allows it a little bit, but if you know, if you see a guy, a Mexican guy in the porch on his second beer or something, that's now a stereotype of Mexicans, you know, being drinking, lazy. being lazy or yeah. something like yeah. that. Yeah. It's just the way you 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 used to all I mean, of a sudden hell, translate I mean, it. I mean, hell, even even the white lady, like you said, she'd be a Karen probably. Yeah, that's already. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> we're yeah. already it's on like, the same. Yeah. We're already on the same page there. Yeah, you know. So yeah, I've I've seen a lot of uh, ladies come into the theater really loud after going wine tasting to watch a movie, and to you know to everybody else, it's like they're having fun. I'm like, no, to you know to us, yeah. the business, like we have to have them quiet in there so we can. Yeah, so people. Yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those things where like, it just depends where you're at too. You know, if you're in, if you're in Florida, people are gonna think we're Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. 
<laughs> you know, depending just talk a little bit faster. I mean, depending on pigmentation. Oh, yeah, Chico. Oh, yeah, Chico. George. Oh, yeah, George. <laughs> No, but that's a stereotype. Know, we exactly. were just racist for our own kind. Yeah, we just did it. Technically, it's not our own kind, but no, I see your point. <laughs> They're a sub kind. <laughs> see, now we just fucked no, up. No, just no, fucked no. up. <laughs> okay, we gotta yeah. cut this. Okay. So, yeah, no, but it, you know, it, that, that's the that's the that's the picture that's always painted every single day as far as when we walk around anywhere, you yeah. know, we can, yeah. we can, <laughs> it sucks. But like, let's say there's like a short Asian lady driving and she's swerving a little bit. You kind of, in your mind, you're already thinking about family guy and that one scene where it's like, I don't know if there's people on my left side, but I'm going to go left. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> crashes everybody. <laughs> it's just a stereotype turns into racism, yeah. but racism is more like, based on hate for sure it's, so. it's, hate. Yeah, it's that's, hate that's that's yeah. that's what comes up yeah, stereotypes so. i mean you can kind of go either way yeah I mean, you did you guys see that article that like the la times posted or wrote about paso no just recently they just uh they said what was it i the saw non-racist pl- city i'm just kidding <laughs> no that it, that it was it was, oh, it was a pr- i mean i'll have to look I hope this doesn't this deter. Is this on Fox News? I really hope this doesn't deter anybody from coming here. No, I mean, yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing city. It's an amazing. Uh, city. <laughs> I'll have to look for it. But you know what? You'll find yeah. that anywhere you go. You will no, find that oh, anywhere you yeah. go. Yeah. You will find that anywhere you go. Yeah. I just even even within our own uh, like ethnicity, like oh yeah, oh no, yeah, one hundred percent. It's insane. My yeah. my own family would talk about darker Mexicans as being like the yeah. the, the the black yep. sheep, so mm-hmm. to speak. And I'm just like, dang, that's messed up. And I look at my skin, I'm a little darker than everybody else. I'm like, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder you guys are mean to me. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, it's 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 definitely like super, super engraved in everybody on on it has been history. Yeah, has really it's history. I mean, I, do you guys remember the movie Antoine Fisher? Or at least heard of it? I never saw it, no. There's a scene that uh, is like if you, if you like so he, he's like knocking on the door and the answer he goes i'm still here i'm still strong i'm still standing that's like a one of the popular scenes but uh denzel washington is like uh in the military with him as a superior officer and he goes read this book about slavery or whatever and he's well like, slave owners used to you know punish the slaves slaves used to punish their kids and so on and so forth oh, so yeah. it's like transferred that's over that's why this is happening and you're and it's 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 you know you're the one who ends that cycle kind of thing yes so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And are there any other places? I mean, there's so many, but any other places that like on your on your list to go to? Th- to go to? Oh, the list is like are, infinite. <laughs> yeah. Is there any one that you're kind of leaving? You're like pushing back more and more because you want to do a more full on experience? Because I know a lot of it is like clips here, clips here, here clips, clips here, here, clips, clips here. here. But I know there's some places that either it's too big. Or um, you need more, like, video on it. Yeah. Just because of the experience. Like, Sensorio. Sensorio. Pictures? Fine. Videos? Fine. But, like, if it was a uh, freaking something with, like, one like uh, immersive experience, I'm sure it's going to be a little different. Yeah, different. Definitely. And that's what I keep hearing. Like, people just want, well, I thought people wanted to see, like, multiple things in a in a in a video yeah. but people are like no i just want to see one thing yeah just so do they, like a f- yeah so they get the better the, the, experience the, the, the better more experience, experience yeah. and okay. actually actually get yeah so how much how much time because you you have to obviously edit your own videos and stuff how much does that usually how much role do you keep and then like no let me let me rephrase that how much do you keep and then do I delete? Uh, yeah. Like, like how much, how much, okay. How much is it deleted? Cause so it's actually a lot. So, well, with, with Instagram, they say like, well, actually they say 18 seconds is like all you have, you know, yeah. to like really capture some. Actually, 15. Oh, okay. well, it's, it's actually, you have two seconds to capture your audience attention. Yeah. And like the, the, the one, the, oh, the sorry, <laughs> <laughs> the videos that do best are like 18 to 15 seconds. Yeah. So I go and I record probably like five minutes. Uh-huh. And then I put it all into my, into my editing software, and I'm like, okay, I have to take five minutes and make it down to fifteen seconds. seconds. Yeah. So it's a lot of, of deleting and yeah, yeah. Do you feel like so? Some of the videos that I've seen, you usually have your son with you. Mm-hmm. Like it, when you're out doing all these things, is it 
predominantly with him yes. a lot of times. Yeah, predominantly with Do him. Do you feel that this sometimes takes away from, uh, like, because you're, you're there in the moment. You obviously have him with you, but you have your camera, you have your phone out. You do it with your phone, right? How much of that have you thought about where, like, it's like, well, I am spending time here, but it's like. Oh, a lot. You know, so, how, has, has that affected you in any definitely, way? Definitely, like, because I, I mean, sometimes I'll be in this, you know, it's kind of sad. I'll be editing a video and I'm like, I don't even remember this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm no, really, not in the and, moment. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, even my fiance will be like, okay, are we going out for Central Coast with Adri or are we going out for yeah. date night? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, well. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, <laughs> I you're. Need the footage. <laughs> a, no, I mean, we're absorbed in, in a hobby. I would assume this is more like a hobby to you. Yeah, I mean, eventually I would love to make it like uh, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, who wouldn't want to make a hobby of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, uh, <laughs> Fingers crossed. You know, sponsors yeah. at some point. Yeah, you know. you know, at one point we like to be talked about. You know, <laughs> our own cars. Yeah, <laughs> we were on Joe Rogan. You know, this is my you know projecting. <laughs> I know, I know projecting. You're, you're, we were we're on thing. Joe Rogan now. Your thing is you would love to be on Joe Rogan. <laughs> I love Joe Rogan. Just, uh, just, just without the weed smoking part. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, but um, that's before. But it, it does, and honestly, it is pretty draining. Like sometimes, like, uh, and people yeah. are like, "Oh, you just make videos," and I'm like, "No," but it's like I have to think of what someone else is gonna find mm-hmm. yeah. intriguing and like, "Oh, this is cool. I want to see it." You know, not just what you like, not what just other what I like. like. Yeah. And um, so, oh, here's an idea on what people find and what they like. Do the top ten restrooms in, Rest in the central? Rooms? Yeah, you Rest know how rooms? big of a difference it makes if people go into a restroom. No, I'm saying top ten. That's why you don't want to post the bad ones. <laughs> Talking about taking a dump. No, think no. Okay, you know how many times no, people go to the theater? No, I understand. He has a point. I noticed he has a point. And they're like, "Oh my god, your restrooms are so nice." But if you go somewhere else where the restrooms like terrible, like mm-hmm. you're probably not gonna go back. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think about that one. Okay. Well, a lot of time. Small little, little crumb right there. So, okay, so in other words, anytime you go to the restroom, <laughs> take just, a picture. Just take, take a picture. picture. Take, take a quick yeah. picture of like, hey, this was clean. Yeah. This one's clean. Go to this one. But then everyone's going to go to that one and it's going to get dirty. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> How dare you post about this restroom? It was a hidden gem. <laughs> they used all the perfume. <laughs> That was <laughs> it became Not after more. I use it. <laughs> it became more of an expense for the owner because now he has to keep buying more. <laughs> but yeah, to get back to your question, it 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 does take a lot. So I mean, I was trying to post ninety videos, in, mm-hmm. or so, a video every single day for ninety days, and I got to like seventy six. Oh man! And then I was like, okay, like I'm mentally, I'm fried. Like I feel like I'm not. You know, like being connected. So I was like, yeah. I just need a break. I didn't get to my goal, but I, it's like I just need. Still seventy something. Yeah, I was like seventy six. Jesus, yeah. Wow. Well, I'm, more, I'm more over here trying to do one every other weekend. Every other weekend, yeah. <laughs> and which from there <laughs> scheduling gets like complicated, and we're like, yeah. we don't do another show for like a month. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah life happens. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Because yeah. Sundays are holiday. I don't know. Because Easter's coming up, right? Easter's, Easter's coming up, up so week. we're gonna skip that one we're for sure. Gonna skip yeah. that one. And then what, what? I might have something going on. No, I don't like. That, I have to. Yeah. After that, I have to check in. You know, just with you. Like, yeah, this is you know. Yeah. Th- this I is mean, the hobby. obviously, this is the thing is that this is our hobby, but we are also parents. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. had we have not had this great idea, it would have been great <laughs> to have this idea. But obviously, we wouldn't have had this idea without being parents. Yeah, without kids. Yeah. Um. You know, when you, I, I know you already told me what, what made you think about it, but did you have your son at the time no, that you didn't? So you, I was, you didn't. Okay, I was, so I was single okay. and I didn't have my son. So yeah, it was just me. So I had all the time in the world. You did. I okay. had all the time yeah. in the world. And when, That's when so did different. you, when did you um, start having like the most likes? Was this before you had your son or a little the after? The most likes? Like when, um, when you started seeing it, like finally like hitting off and stuff. Like I would you say just recently, actually. So just recently. Just I, recently. Okay. I think the ones where your fiance's in have a lot more likes too. Yeah. That, I think it's the tattoos. The tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the tattoos. <laughs> and the, the two, Ooh, that's la, why la. you're on the frame more often, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to go like this real quick. This, this, <laughs> This podcast is sponsored by <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> that guy with tattoos. Speaking of tattoos, Paso now has its first tattoo parlor. Well, place. They do. Yeah, that's oh, insane. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Where? I'm, I'm a, um, you know those? Uh, not Sizzler, but the next like uh, 
like cool building. Cool Hand Luke's. Cool Hand Luke's, you mean? No, no it's not that block. <laughs> I know. God damn. My dad made God damn it. That's how we came. That's how we came here. Yeah. When? Uh, back in oh shit, man, I was how old am I? I just said it. I'm 33. Mm-hmm. When I <laughs> when I was three, we moved here. So like the early 90s, my dad 90s. managed uh, Sizzler. Oh wow. Yeah, that's how that's I remember crazy. those. Those all those chicken nuggets were so amazing, dude. dude you know, I what? remember you, the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese was. You know so what was good. even better was when my dad had to go do. I I think I haven't asked him yet, but I think he, <laughs> I think he would go do inventory because he was always at work. You go inventory around like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, around like a day before Thanksgiving or something. And when he'd do that, he'd take us kids to go just like with him. Yeah. And the whole place is empty. I mean, oh, both that's... floors were empty. And he'd go in the office to do whatever he's doing. we just go in there and play hide and seek. It was some of the How best fun. freaking times ever. Yeah, yeah, empty, nothing. And that's like a giant building. It and was a giant, yeah. yeah. And, and when we you're would, smaller, everything yeah, seems oh, so Oh, man. And like, I think the only thing that we didn't go too much into was like the kitchen. But even then, like as a kid, for me, seeing anything behind closed doors is just magical. Yes. Right? So like I see the kitchen and I'm like, oh, my God. I... You you look at like sometimes you could see like the door behind you. Just like I wonder what's back there. Is it mm-hmm. something like amazing? Is there a unicorn there? I don't know. Just having that information before anybody else or above everybody else is just like it's a high as well. Like oh, oh yeah. you know what's back there? Yeah, yeah, I know what's back there. You yeah. know what's back yeah. there? Yeah. And the great and the cool thing about it is later on towards the end of the time he was doing that he would turn on the fr- fryers and the ice cream machine. <laughs> And so, like, dude, oh, I wish I could. No, my dad was my dad was very strict. Like, he wanted to let us do that shit. I probably let my kids do no, but probably not. No. I, 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 no, never mind. I wouldn't. <laughs> like, well, I if, if anything, like, if Sophia was big enough and she like went and did that, I at first I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, you had the guts to do it. Like nobody else has. Now get over here. <laughs> it's it's the whole don't do that yeah. again. Yeah. You, you didn't don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. So you, you I know you have a girl and you have Oh, a have girl. kids? You have kids too. Yeah, I do. I have three. I have uh girl's the oldest. She okay. is ten. And then I have a boy, he's four, and then another girl, she's three. Another she girl. just turned three. So Yeah, I ask him most of the stuff like as Sophia's growing. Yeah, that's like, how so we that's where we get that's the, how we yeah, that's where we started the whole two dads too. And uh I ask him these things, like, and you're like, don't worry about that part. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, all right. I mean, part of it kind of came out was like, there's a lot more for like dads to talk about with girls because we didn't grow yeah. up with girls, right? Yeah. And that's, mm-hmm. and that's uh, part of a lot of my stories are, so with, with my oldest, um, that's from a different, uh, different marriage. Okay. And when we separated, she was two, she was about to be two. And whenever we, our custody battle was always 50, it was really, there was no custody battle. I, I always highly, I always speak highly of my situation with a divorce and all that stuff. How was, well it went. Oh yeah. How easy. I mean, just not the easiest. Then div- you hear some horror stories. There's oh, plenty yeah. of them. I ha- you I've, took the I've dog had, too. I've had the easiest <laughs> divorce story. I don't think I, it probably of all time. Cause yeah. I've never heard anybody talk about it. Like and I those. think people like, I mean, as parents, like we want the best for our kids and like, you're not going to take someone's right. like dad or mom yeah. away you yeah know, like they, the, they need well you both would think of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you would, would think. think i mean but then the th- like emotions get involved and definitely yeah. i mean we we made it to where only decisions are gonna be made are us none of the courts got involved into it oh wow um no family inter interference nothing like we really just made it and we were young yeah um and and you know we made it that way it's 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 helped out and my relationship with my ex-wife is good she's she's the mother of my child i mean you know we 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 can talk about lexi our daughter like hey she did this oh, okay she did this hey can you pick her up yeah i can do that mm-hmm. you know um hey can you watch her i have something going on yeah all right yeah. so it's it's been very easy um our custody you know it, it's been 50 50 so um but anyway, my, my point was... <laughs> it's okay. No, it's my, now a therapy session. <laughs> she, she just, you have hey, no idea how much this, this she, show she feels like therapy. She deserves some shout outs, you know? Yeah, so now, how much this, you know? yeah. this, this, uh, this feels like therapy a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I was, I was a 20-something-year-old taking care of this little girl, you yeah. know? And what we were taught as men 
did nothing for us yeah. by raising a little girl. Hey, yeah. be where I can see you, and that's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, uh, it just it just nothing. It's so, that. Yeah. So you know, it, it was it was actually very easy to to find a partner like Miguel when it came to this because he has a girl. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> you reached that age. It was. I know. You did reach out. <laughs> Instant regret. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think I was gonna go for it. That's why. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm, I'm way too comfortable with my sexuality that even if he did touch my hand, it wouldn't have been an issue. Been but an issue there's times where like, am I really like? Because <laughs> because in high school I had this friend who were like, just hey, hold my hands. Like, what's up, baby? I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, <laughs> like it was no. Normal. I've had friends in high school where like I question. I'm just like, I think there might be. <laughs> like, just like, you know where it's like too far. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. it? Does, but you're okay because you're they're your friend and stuff like that, you know. Well, I mean, there wasn't friends that like I normally would hang out with, but I'd just be like, I, yeah, I, I didn't know when it's too far too. <laughs> there's a bound, know. there's a boundary that they cross that you're not okay with. That's the next not. morning, <laughs> <laughs> like you say this a little too much. <laughs> That's That's a a next morning, okay, I just got that. <laughs> I just got it. It was a boomerang for me. I went <laughs> during breakfast. <laughs> That happens to me a lot. <laughs> Wait. I'm like, I get it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How did we go for this? Stick? So this racism. Is what yeah, yeah, so racism. Yeah, so racism. Yeah, this is what happened. Um, oh, so man. what is, like, one thing that you have learned from, like, being a, a girl dad or, like, advice oh, that you. Uh, for being a girl dad? Being a girl. Being a girl. I have was never a girl before until I had my daughter. Let's just, that's how I always say it. Yeah. Yeah. I was never a girl until I had a, I had a daughter. Had a daughter. Because yeah. perspectives change yeah. completely. You know what? It's it's very interesting because we've talked about this. Like our, our parents, our dads at least, they were so not as present as we are today. Mm-hmm. And it makes, you know, we weren't prepared. We weren't, you know, told anything. And so we rely a lot on our partners to be able to take care of certain things. But then when we're put it by ourselves with the baby there was this sort of fear at the beginning before Sophia was born like oh shit like how am I gonna do because Crystal was taking care of her uh, another three-year-old before and he's like do you want to learn how to change a diaper and I'm like yeah. okay and then Let's somebody else's kid was born and I'm like <laughs> freaking like like uh like Resident Evil I'm trying to handle a vial of virus or something I'm just <laughs> not trying to break it spill it yeah day, and then zombies everywhere um <laughs> so like I'm like being careful with other people's kid but now it's when Sophia was born, I was like, pa, 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 you know, like everywhere. It's it's so it felt weird so I, comfortable. Yeah, I I before having Jackson, I I didn't like kids. You no, know? I was I always said like I don't want kids. Yeah. I don't want kids. <clears throat> and obviously, when you meet the right person, like they yeah. they change your perspective. So like when we had Jackson, it it was so weird because it was so natural, you know. And like I wouldn't even hold babies, you know. Yeah. I was like mm-hmm. scared of them. I'd be like, "How do you do this?" You know. I but I then, think that's that's the. For, I'm sorry, I really oh, no. interrupted you, but that's like instinctual. I think. Yes, you know? like that. Definitely, that definitely instinct. for a mother, instinct mm-hmm. just kind of. I mean, we're 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 uh, already engraved with that. Exactly. You know, well, yeah. mothers are. I should say. Yeah. You know, dads kind of just are the protectors, and we're kind of engraved with protecting. You know, protection. Yeah, protecting. Yeah, protecting. But like um, going back to the. You know how it was with with a uh, a girl like you know like I said perspective change. I didn't know that you have to really keep it clean down there because more oh, infections can happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. rashes, you know? infection. Yeah, you know it's just like just like just anything. Just yeah, it's like oh yeah, I guess it really is that sensitive. Like I never knew about that. You know, yeah. and like that was just just starting off with that for for as a, as a man of being raised to be a man mm-hmm. just complete like game changer for me yeah so you you also have a son so do you feel like the connection is different with like your son than it is with your daughters which one do you like more <laughs> this is a safe space <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna be able to see this until like years you later. know what's what's funny what's funny is that like i spent a lot of time with my oldest because we, i was alone with her for and in a way you guys like grew up together we did we did I, exactly now with my son like there's just i don't obviously it, it might have to do with like the combination of how different he is versus how my daughter's different mm-hmm. but like my my relationship with my son is 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 great but it's also like competitive in a way but it, I, I feel like it's just our man 
like our boy like nature yeah like he'll come up randomly behind me and punch me and then i run away <laughs> like right and it's just like and at first it's, there's times where it pisses me off but sometimes i'm like oh that bastard he got me you know and just like, <laughs> and, like right? and i'd be the Catch same on the flip side yeah and i'd be the same way if my daughter did it but like she never did it yeah no. you know but like i don't to answer your question like it's just they're it's just, just diff- different there's just, different, just relationships. different relationships yeah. and and no matter what if you have another kid it's just never going to be the same as the other one you might think it you might think it'd be like if i raise them the exact same way it's gonna be the exact it's it's not there's so many variables there's so many variables that that go into it that you just don't realize until you have another one so sophia has short hair still Mm -hmm. um I think Crystal says she looks she, a lot like you. By the way, she does. Yeah, Poor she's kid. so cute. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> well, she, she also looks like her mom. <laughs> Every time somebody tells me that, I'm like, "Poor kid." Um, uh, you, 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 okay? Do you realize how sometimes awkward it makes somebody feel when you do? That? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm when you did it to me the yeah. first time, I was like, "Well, now what do I say to me?" <laughs> No, she's cute. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> so she has short hair. And I remember uh, going to the grocery store one day and somebody, I saw somebody, Sophia wasn't with me or Crystal wasn't with me. And somebody goes, and somebody's like, hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? And he goes like, so how's your son now? And I'm like, well, she's, you know, yeah, we always have she's, da, 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 da. and it's like, oh, man. So I'm like, no, it's okay. She has short hair. She. Uh, Crystal's from Crystal's experience, she probably won't have longer hair until like until later, a couple more years. Yeah. I'm like, she's, that's just how she is. She has super curly brown hair, which is weird, but um, she has short hair. But at once, once they start walking around and doing everything, she starts doing like the easiest way. The easiest way I can explain it is girly things. Like, yeah, she starts. I don't show her, and like, I don't walk around doing that crystal doesn't walk around doing that so obviously there's some sort of either the video she saw or so she you know connects with the girl you more. watching Tele novelas again no <laughs> roma and diana she's watching roma and diana oh okay so she okay yells yeah. a lot <clears throat> i know ah, i'm a monster and like no you're not you know and um so she start and you would think she would copy both of them equally because she obviously we don't tell her that's a boy that's a girl she's just copying most of the girls so she connects with her and it, it makes me wonder is like is it just like one of those things where naturally it's going to happen where she'll do like little girly things and stuff like that because i don't know if boys do any kind of like i mean like, ja- like, jackson you know? is like always screaming he's yeah. always a okay. monster or mm-hmm. yeah, dinosaur yeah, yeah. and but yeah, as far as I think, I think it's just like a a girl thing, you I know. Th- yeah, she's like it's just so. Here's here's one. My my uh, with my son being the middle child, mm-hmm. and you know he's surrounded by just girls. He has mm-hmm. a younger sister and older sister. The uh, one time my wife uh, put on a bow to the youngest one, and he said, "I want one," mm-hmm. and like sure enough, like he, he one time said that he wants to look like a triceratops. So he wanted three, naturally, oh, yeah. three little like ponies. Yeah. His hair is naturally just long. He's he's a pretty kid. Bit, like I remember going back to that uh, when he was little. He had he, all my kids had hair when they were born. He a lot of, a lot of people th- thought he was a girl, okay, yeah. because he just so, always yeah. had long hair. Um, so I I mean I don't know. It's just it's just so whatever. What do you they, what do you do in that situation? Because I'm always like I don't want to make anything weird. You know, like okay, so ever you okay, know? so that's actually a great point because I was raised a certain way, and I I finally got to a point where we're talking about breaking cycles, where I said mm-hmm. I don't agree with that, and yeah. I'm not going to go with that, and I'm going to make it my own. Yeah. Now, you are you you can change, but there's still usually some like little like hint of your past self still there oh, yeah. that you yeah. can that you yeah. can right yeah. so that's usually what I call it I call it Mexican conservative me was mm, like okay. as as the as the old me. That's yeah. what I call it. Okay. Because that was that was the me that was taken to church. I was Catholic. I say was because I don't follow religion anymore. I was I was I was Catholic. You know, my dad was a traditional just man. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like didn't pick up his plate 
type no, of no 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 okay. not like that not that kind not that kind not that kind that's a good joke like a... <laughs> okay not that kind like okay. he he worked and and there was there was there's some things that i could tell he broke away from uh even like the uh his traditional like ways mm-hmm. he's not that kind of mexican he was actually the one he he actually he cooked i mean he okay. he cooks now i mean yeah. he was the manager at sizzler like one of those things that yeah. he does a lot of cooking um he wasn't he wasn't one of those that just kind of seemed lazy he he would do a lot of things with kids though different story he was more traditional like he didn't really he was he never changed our diapers he didn't do any of that um <clears throat> so uh with my dad uh, I've, I've said it many times on the on the show here but like i feel like at five years old i was already supposed to be a man oh really yeah like i couldn't cry i couldn't holding his hand was to cross the street yeah. i couldn't hold his hand across the street because that's that's either either gonna don't, don't and, do that Men don't do that or it's going to make me gay. One of those oh. things, right? That's just what I feel was, was in those things because you, we were always raised to not, we don't play with dolls. We don't play with this. We don't do that. Yeah. So that, I feel like it, it must be like that Mexican conservative in me too because okay, yeah. when when my son was born, like <clears throat> my, my fiance and I had like a hard conversation, like what if he's gay, you know? Yeah, it's a very. And he was like, so what? Okay. We're, we're gonna love him no matter what mm-hmm. you know and like when i when he was again the mexican uh, that's perfect um when he was younger i'd be like no pink you know yeah, there you go and yeah. then my i mean my fiance has just been like such a good parent that i yeah. like it took me a while you know like to be like okay it's like it's fine you know it's fine and he's always been like it's okay like if he wants to play with kitchen stuff it's okay like yeah, yeah. it's not gonna make him gay you he know might be, maybe the best chef in the world that's yeah, and, yeah. and now now i'm like that too i'm like okay if he wants to play with a barbie it's fine like mm-hmm. i don't want to make it weird and i think like you said it's just like that you that mentality you have to fight it yeah and every once you, in a while it yes, does come up it because come up. we me and my wife have had that same conversation like mm-hmm. She's been way more open-minded for a longer time than I ever have. Yes. Right? I, before I met her, had been saying to myself, I want to just, you know, I'm okay with LGBT, you know, Q community. I, I always get them mixed up because because I I feel like, and this could sound really bad for me saying, but I always feel like more letters keep adding. So I always forget like, okay, I need it. It's not, it's obviously my problem that that keeps yeah. happening to, right? But I, I support it all. Like I used to not. Yeah. Okay. I was raised that. You know, being gay was kind of bad. Like, you know, God doesn't like gay, like all that stuff. Uh, I I got away from that earlier on, even before my wife. My wife's been more open minded. One thing I credit my wife is how much she's been able to help me look past a lot of that stuff. And then to her, yeah, if he wants to play with a doll or or for me, the dolls and stuff, nothing. But like when I'm like, he's going to walk outside. Like I, I will admit he was going to walk outside with a bow. I'm like, nope, old conservative you is, is it's, it, it's that that's what's trying to come out. Like you just remember that that's not what's going to make them. Yeah. Um, and if anything, I think it's like back then it was like, it wasn't really so much about the kid being a certain way. The parents took it upon themselves that people are going to look at them badly. Yes. It wasn't it's so much reflecting about the, on the parents. Yeah. yeah, reflecting on the parents. Yes, Miguel and um, you might. I'm not sure if you remember this, but I remember this might have been on Miguel's moments, one of like my first episodes with you. Uh-huh. You, we were talking about, um, like being polite around other parents as kids, and you said it the best. It wasn't really so much about us; it was for them. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was. Yeah. It was. Well, well, well whenever. Um, Let's say, uh, let's say I show my mom this podcast and I show her the video and stuff <laughs> like that. ¿Quiénes son sus padres? That would be the oh, go-to immediately, question. Because yeah. whose parents? Yeah. Yeah. The parents knew each and other. Then that you like that re- they make a judgment. On yeah. yeah, yeah. It was the. I'm like, you don't know them, mom. <laughs> yeah. Like, why do they care? I'm like, go spin, even, I'm like they, a spin in the where, at his house. <laughs> I'm like, they live over by like Dread Creek. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just all this judgmental stuff, and and like. You know, how do I react when that happens? I have to, I have to check myself. Yeah. When all of that stuff happens. And I, I, show, have, I feel like that shows growth as an individual. Of course. It, yeah. It's for sure. But like, we have to make it a point that that's just what we're okay with. Mm-hmm. But we have to also be okay with like knowing that we have to fight back. Old urge is not the right word, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Old urge I want chocolate right now. <laughs> 
I have to fight that back all the time. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> when you're talking about tacos and beans, I was like, that's making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had breakfast. Hey, bike driver, can you <laughs> take me the tacos and beans then if you're already on the conversation? <laughs> you see, you see you Mexicans watching it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Go some pinche madre. <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck. We're going to make a sandwich instead. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but yeah, in those situations where he does want to wear it, I'm like, yeah. just, I'm like, just, just, no, he's fine. Even if he does. And I've thought about it too. Like, what if he were to come out one day and say that he's gay? Of course I'm loving him. Of yeah. course I'm treating him the same. I've just never dealt with that. Yeah. So how am I going to deal with it? I don't in know. Obviously, I'm going to, gonna gonna it's going to have to be yeah. the moment. I'm going to have to get away with it. And I'm going to have to really work hard work, on myself yeah. to not be like, bothered by yeah. it what my fiance had said too was just like you want if he is you want him to come to us you know and not hide from his parents or like hide from his home exactly and, you know, and at the to, end of yeah. the day you want them to be happy exactly yeah. and that is the hardest thing to to remember is that you want them to be happy because we've talked many times about how we were not given the choice to do a lot of things growing up, you know, Mexican conservative for us. I was, there was a lot that I feel like I wasn't given the choice that I can do now. Yeah. I know how that felt. Finding my own happiness kind of like taken away or being told, I don't want that for them. And if it means that they're going to go a different lifestyle than what I was used to, and they're going to be happy then I'd be wrong for them to be trying to take them away from that. Yeah. You know, it is not my life. We're, we're here to direct them into, like, you know, better situations. But maybe maybe you can take it as, like, learning. I'll learn something from that, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. It, like I said, it's, 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 it's difficult to yeah. put down your, your past self. Yeah, for sure. I think a lo- uh, as long as you're, like take those few seconds to like think about what you're doing or saying before you do it and say that's the hardest it, that's it's, like said, it's in the moment yeah sometimes you're really in the moment, really in the the moment, moment and you're like moment. yeah you know <clears throat> um how many other parents with kids do you see uh when you're central coasting with adri um i actually see a, a lot of uh, uh so uh, we have a group of friends um who's like family and they live in the five cities and they all have kids, so, like, whenever we do stuff, like, I, there's, like, a big group of us, so yeah. I do see that a lot, but then sometimes, like, on my videos, I get asked a lot, like, oh, is this a kid-friendly location, oh, okay. and I'm, like, actually, I feel like, uh, that's a, yeah. That's a good top 10 to do, a kid friend. have you yeah, done something I have, like that? I have okay. done, like, okay, kid-friendly yeah, yeah. locations, like, wineries, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a great one. Yeah. I think there's gonna be a lot more, uh kid-friendly locations in the near future because everything's just booming i think uh there's a brewery kind of opening up on spring street what oh, the yeah, old paso, apartments used yeah, to be yeah paso robles like right. brewing really? company or something yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm super stu- i'm surprised nobody's done that there because this is a big space it's like a, outdoor space yeah it's huge yeah. It, it's like where the old um that like what was it the car dealership it was really car dealership cars. i think it was a nursery at one point like a long time a ago, long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's crazy yeah, that's nice and then yeah, there's just like so many things coming up. To uh. I know I hear so many locals getting so upset. Like anytime there's a, uh, well, we're definitely getting tourists. Tri- that's, yeah, that's there's that's, a, that's the there was an article on TripAdvisor like, a few years ago um, saying that one of the top ten destinations in California was to go to Paso Robles, well, the and there were the people n- hating on it. Remember the New York Times? They voted. Yeah. Paso t- I think it was like <coughs> two thousand. Oprah. Tw- Oprah <gasps> one day, one time, said this. And I had a friend that lived here for a little bit because he got hired for work and he moved out here uh-huh. yeah. and um and i'll like, say hey how, how'd you get my question about paso is we lived i've lived here forever i'm always like how'd you hear about this place because yeah. mm-hmm. it was always like a whole like you miss it you miss it you, yeah you yeah miss you're, it. You're, you're you you miss on the off ramp, you're gone yeah. like yeah. that's it right yeah we have what three off ramps north <laughs> yeah yeah and i've asked i asked him and i was like he's still my good friend he, he lives back in uh la now but i asked him remember i was, I was like how'd you uh How'd you hear about that? He's like, oh, we, when we're thinking of like places to go, we saw Oprah had said like one of those, so? yeah, Pat, like as a winery, he's like, oh, dude, when we're going there. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> it was a while ago. I mean, yeah, it's like seven yeah. years ago or something, but still like. I know. Well, huh. I mean, I grew up here too. Like, so I was born in Atlanta, Georgia and we moved oh, here. No way. 
Okay. Yeah, we moved here when I was like six months old. Uh-huh. So I've been here like my yeah, whole life, life yeah. you know. And um, I go downtown now and I'm like, I don't know any of these people, you know. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, it's way, it's, new, way it's, more it's, new faces. Yeah, but when you go to the, like the restaurants and the workers, you know I the recognize workers. them. Yeah. 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 That's, the that's, great thing is, though, like I actually before the show I was talking to Miguel about this, how like it's it's still a community that's the great thing about it that's why i i kind of really like about this town is like you some you know somebody that's doing something and 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 in turn it could help you out or like promote other things in order like you know with our last guest tommy booth you know my boss like i was like hey that's cool now you have him on the show and you're like since we're all trying to do our own thing here i mean even with you yeah like you know you're you're an influencer, you know, you, you do guides or whatever, or whatever you're listed on or whatever, but like we're doing a podcast, you know, yeah. like it just kind of like, you, it, it we, just, like you said, it's like that sense of community where, and you see it everywhere. You see it in like the wine industry and like the beer industry. It's like everyone really wants to see everyone succeed. You yeah. know, and and that's why I understand like, how you like doing what you do Yes, because like you're promoting other things. You like this place. I, I like love, I you, love this live. place. I, I read a quote like a long time ago and it says, do you ever wish you could hug a city? And I was like, <laughs> if I could give Pastor Robles like a giant hug, like, you know, I love this place. Like, I, I want, you know, I'm like raising my family here yeah. and like, yeah, not just Paso, but like slow and, and everything. I mean, you know? I can say it for and myself. It is so cool going to the same school system, had been going to the same school system that year, like kids are doing now. Yeah. Because my daughter goes to Virginia. What teacher do you have? In the, oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah. So crazy, last yeah. year there was, there was a, a teacher that I had in fifth grade and my mm-hmm. daughter had in fourth grade. And like, she's like, oh, she's. Techn- she's my very first grand student that's, that's what she crazy. called it yeah exactly and, and it's, it's so cool it's, because yeah. i can one day we went for like parent conferences and i walk around with my daughter and i was like hey lexi that was my first grade classroom and oh, i used to walk yeah. over here my friend daniel did this over here and like and like we just it's, it's really cool it's like to a do beautiful that. thing it's fun to do that. oh my god it's and so like, much fun doing that yes you both hopefully you both will be able to experience that pretty soon yes especially like when it comes to school Derek does want to move back to the five cities, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to convince him to stay. (laughs) Be all the Bearcats, Cougars, and (laughs) not those Cougars. (laughs) Not those Cougars. Bearcat, Bearcat, respect. Great. Oh no, Bearcat. Bearcat was high school. That's high school. Oh, Bearcat, Bobcat, 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 Bobcat. Cougar, Flamson. Panda Bear was uh, Lewis uh, Leopards. Lewis Lewis Leopards. Panda was Virginia Peterson. Peterson. Pat Butler's what bear? I think they're bear, yeah. There's bear. Kermit right? King is a crab. Oh, I thought it was Kermit the Frog, but I no, thought, I'm I just kidding. I think it is a frog. <laughs> oh, really? Is it a frog? <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure I, it's a frog. I don't know why. Maybe I saw some, like a like a, like a a restaurant menu that said no, Kermit every, King every or something. Time, every time I hear Kermit King, Kermit frog, I'm, yeah. I'm always thinking Kermit the Frog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kermit the Frog, you Kermit the Frog. <laughs> oh, the <horrible laughs> the on on that. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, can we edit that part? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're yeah. not. No, but yeah, Paso is like an amazing, amazing area. And, and it still has I, a lot of room a to lot, grow. A lot, a lot. Oh, plenty. Yeah. I, yeah. I just, uh, the last uh, Paso Robles Chamber seminar meeting that they had at the Park Cinemas, they were talking about like the air, the airport five years from now is going to look completely different. Really? Yeah, probably. Just wait. Well, I, well, do you guys listen to the Where Wine Takes You podcast? Mm. They should. So, um, they, it's with the host, Adam Montiel from, I think he's, oh, what radio station is he on? I know he has like his own thing, like Cork Dorks or something like that. Oh, Uncorked? Uh, maybe. Um, but yeah. he has like a bunch of different owners come on and they just like tell their stories of like, why Paso? Why did you come here? Like okay. how did their winery okay. started. Oh, okay. And they were saying that like, we're supposed to be getting in like a rooftop, like another rooftop bar. Like how much there's like. It's going to grow. Expansion. Yeah. It's going to keep yeah. growing. Yeah. It's going to be insane. Yeah. Better get ne- better getting those networking now and I, know. I mean yeah. yeah. I mean really yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Maybe we should do a show with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah. What hey. made you start the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was uh when I moved back, I moved away f- uh to manage a uh, a movie theater in Lamore. And when I moved back, wine industry is like it's not what it is today. It was like 2016. It was like literally like I could see it doing this as far as blowing up and stuff like that and there was actually like a brief moment where I actually almost made my own brand of wine. <laughs> Don't you, I mean, and I, the buy-in was like $3,500. That's it. <laughs> to just start going. To just start going. 
Yeah, it was this process called like custom crush, and they pretty much take grapes and then they, you, they obviously you walk through with them and they make it. You know, yeah. you taste it and everything, make sure it's good, and then <laughs> slap your label on the bottle. Miguel's own. Yeah, and the, I had I had the name and everything, Danza Wines. I was really into oh. like um, <laughs> dancing, right? It's salsa dancing and stuff like that. And like the wine was we're gonna call like the the specific moves in the dance. Oh, that's cool. Like cross body lead is a move that's oh. gonna be like a, like a full body red or something. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that idea is dead. I know. I know. But now that I put it out in the world, it's probably gonna happen. I Somebody know, else. Right? Yeah. Somebody's gonna copyright it. Copyright it now. Yeah. I feel like I, if, from what I've learned, like about wanting to start, it's like just start. You yeah, know? yeah, like, no, yeah. No, like, that's, that's I feel the... like I I contemplated starting like what I'm doing today for so long, and it just like if I could give myself any advice, like just start, start sooner. You know, if you fail, you yeah. fail, but like you're gonna learn from it. Like I I highly feel like start with no expectation. Exactly. Right. Don't don't yeah. say like I want to be the biggest. You know, no, just one start. Podcast just start. Yeah. Or, or yeah. I hope to have a thousand followers. Like, yeah. you know, you don't, don't, don't burn yourself out in the beginning. Exactly. You, you just and start. If I, it kicks off, you got something good. If it doesn't, it was a fun time while it lasted. It was a fun time. And I mean, I don't, I'm, I don't have that many followers, but like the experiences and the connections that I've made from like other people in the area mm-hmm. or even like subscribers telling me about like their engagement story, like that is like, amazing no. what well, makes you feel any better to us you're like <laughs> yeah, you know because i mean even even to me when, when when miguel said like oh yeah i have a friend she's an influencer i was like we gotta then, get her in yeah, no no when i, when <laughs> I, when I so awesome. i was like okay let me he sent me a video and yeah. stuff and i was like god damn she has that many views i was like holy shit and like to me like it was like it, it you know we're we're okay. here and you're like a little you know you're a little I, there, i've so. gone um noticed one time in public okay and i was at the cliffs and the guy was like i was like walking in my car to get jackson a, a toy and he goes adri and i was like do i know you <laughs> hi and he's like you're center coasting with adri i was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool i mean and yeah. it was so cool and like the impact that he had on me, you know, like he's yeah. like, I watch all of your videos, and I he was like with great. his yeah. family, you yeah. know. Yeah. I like walked away and like cried a little bit. I was like, oh my god, like yeah, it no, was yeah. so special to me. What's funny about being recognized or getting a compliment or getting anything in public is we kind of look at the views a lot on our YouTube, on the, the <laughs> list, <laughs> we kind all of, the yeah. time. Yeah. Like, all we the got time. another subscriber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, sorry, I that was Crystal. So many times, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you, Crystal. <laughs> but the funny thing is, like, compared to how many uh, listeners or unique listens we've had, like, what it s- reports on Anchor, I've had a lot of people, hey, I like your podcast. Hey, I like your podcast. Hey, I like your podcast. You know, just four hours? Yeah. Really? That's yeah. awesome. And uh, they don't oh, follow me on Instagram or anything. They just later on, it's like, hey, I like your podcast. I know that. Yeah. Keep it up. My like, home. Oh, what the? Okay. F- yeah. So, like, Do we- you. Do you guys feel? Oh, sorry. Okay. No, no, go for it. Do you feel like so you guys obviously you guys share this on with on your social media and stuff? Like, mm-hmm. does your family and friends do they support it? Because I always see like posts like, oh, your friends posted Rihanna being pregnant a thousand times, but she's never once posted like your small business, your podcast, anything like that. Do you guys see that you guys get a we lot of support? We haven't got many many reposts, um, but. I feel like if if I start really focusing on that and looking at that too much, this is going to beat ourselves down. It is going against mm-hmm. to what yeah. how this how we want my, it to come out. I can out, tell you right? this much. My own family probably hasn't listened to it. <laughs> my own family actually most likely has. But like he he let me put it this way. I was in I don't I don't go around and be like, Hey, I have a call podcast, listen to that as in a pod, I don't have a yeah. card and like give it off to people. Yeah. Sometimes I forget to even it's mention It's all about it. QR codes now. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So my bad. Sorry. Yeah. My age. Um, sometimes I forget to even like, just like, it's not, if I'm meeting somebody new, it's not podcaster. Like, yeah. Yeah. If yeah. somebody says, what do you do? I'd be like, oh, I work for this company, such and such. I don't say, oh, and I have a podcast. I don't, I don't, I, I don't feel like I'm there to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That makes but, sense. But I was in Texas the other, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, my best friend's wedding. He was getting married. One of our other best friends, my other best friend, he came with me. We all, we went together and we're at the um, rehearsal dinner and um, we're meeting people. We're meeting, we're meeting the brides, uh, the bride's party. I already knew most of the, the groom's party, but like we're meeting all that, you know, we're all just talking about here. His fiance, my friend's fiance says, how's the podcast going? I already knew she knew, you know, I already yeah. knew. Yeah. 
so how's the podcast going? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that thing, you know. And then people hear that and they're like, oh, you have a podcast? Yeah. What's it about? <laughs> yeah, what's it about? And, like, whether they, they go into it or not, it's, it's that's not the point. The point is that somebody else brought it for you. I don't have to talk about it because other people have been doing it for me. That's My cool. friends yeah. sometimes will just be like, hey, I that one funny thing that you guys said on the podcast. And then all of a sudden people are like, oh, you have a podcast. Yeah. So, like, I, I, I texted Miguel the other day and I was like, Dude, I didn't have to mention it once and it got brought up. That's awesome. So yeah. it feels great. Yeah, we haven't been spotted. Yeah. Like I said, we already know how many people we have subscribed. Yeah. Of course, we would love to have more. You know, yeah. we know it takes time. We're not it even does. in our first year. Well, it's it's, it's yeah. funny. Um, we want to we're trying to we want to get more people in here as guests and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. But the first people that pop in our head is like our own friends. It's our own friends. Know? But yeah. but with this community sense that I always feel that we have. People are more likely to get involved into it when yeah. they're involved. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And if somebody wants to watch an episode because this person's episodes, no different from me watching a Hot Ones episode because my favorite rapper is there. Yeah. Right. And I may not listen to any other episode there, but because I know somebody or somebody I like or something, hey, Pharrell's on there. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going to watch that. Right. Yeah. So that's how I kind of feel with like if we get more people in here to talk other people are going to want to watch and yeah. then they might stick around and watch and most watch them. Yeah. That's very true. Have, uh, have businesses reached out to collab with you yet? Um, try to think. Collab means collaborate. Collaborate. Yeah. I am the one. <laughs> 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 this is our collaboration. So. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but not, I wouldn't say like not this, like not really, you know, but like when I go into a business and they, they know me, like I feel like, They'll hook me up, you know, like yeah. I just went to um, the Alchemist Garden and mm. I mean, I, I love the Alchemist. I feel like as soon as they opened, I was there, you know, like I, I wanted to support them. And I just went with my friend Betsy, who owns Stellar oh, I know Sellers. Betsy. Yeah. yeah, I know Betsy. And who owns uh, what? They Stellar Sellers, the the charcuterie business. Oh, okay. She does like grazing tables. Huh. I didn't know she you guys that. should have her on here. She would love it. Sure, that'd be a that'd be a quinceanera reunion right there. <laughs> she was my partner for a quince <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I love Betsy. <laughs> um, but I mean, like the the owner like came over and we were just talking and I so it was it was nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, that's the whole point. Like, yeah. That's like, the whole. I, and then, I, like the other day, I went to um, like one of the at her table events, and this um, Latina winemaker, her name is Nancy. Um, she reached out to me, and she was like, "I would love for you to come to like this wine event with me," and I was like, "Yeah, of course." So I, I guess yeah, like small small collaborations. Yeah. Yeah. What do you? How do you? Uh, so I know you listen to a couple episodes, just kind of like to get like going with some like research how, how to just some research no. what would you in your opinion what what do you think is something that we should do honestly i think what you guys are doing is is great i feel like it's it's honest it's like real and raw and like you guys are talking about like like real life things you know you're not filtered it's it's like it's it's honest and i think i feel like in like the social media age that we're in right now i feel like it's kind of starting to die down but like people are getting sick of the filter you know like yeah, i want to yeah. know the truth i want to know like your real story so i feel like what you guys are doing is is really great yeah i see a whole bunch of uh, social media influencers like they're going bankrupt trying to keep up their lifestyle or something like that yeah, or their their family they post like things shit. like they're so happy but now like they're divorced or shit, like I'd all be, these crazy I'd things i'd be happy just paying off my house and being done <laughs> 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 you would think right yeah. no, I'm, no, i don't know, you know? yeah no, and like I, I feel like when you listen to a podcast, you want to feel like you're having the conversation with them. You know, yeah. like want to mm-hmm. feel like you're in the room, and that's what I got from you guys, like listening to it. Okay, that if, yeah, I good. appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So everybody's there in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm gonna turn it around. What do you think? What do you think I could do? Um, God, I, I mean, tell you all the time. So yeah. I'll let him. I mean, <laughs> I I had no idea that you're doing the uh, like kid friendly one i think what you're doing is great i mean the fact that i hear that you have so many other places to go i'm just like then then there really is i'm barely even scratching the surface whenever i go somewhere yeah um i i think i honestly think you're on the right track thank you like i said you know when 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 miguel says miguel you know there wasn't really much that miguel said was like oh she's trying to be an influencer i was like oh okay then once he sent me one of those videos and i'm just like 
trying <laughs> she is so oh. and then that's when i was like how long has she been doing this and i'm like looking at some of your older posts and yeah. i'm just like she clearly is you're clearly on something and yeah i think i think this county is a great place because i still go place to place asking people do you even know where we're at? Like, if people mm-hmm. say, where are you from? I sometimes just say, slow county. Yeah. Just so they can barely even maybe, maybe. get the get the idea of where. Because even then, people are like, where is that? Central no, Coast. But now Paso Robles is... On the map. And on the map, little, right? Our little so, hometowns. And, and if not, I, I go... I'm like, we're... We're like three or four hours away from San Francisco or three or four hours <laughs> away from L.A. Oh, right. That's, yeah. how, that's how I like... Yeah. That's how I gauge it. Well, so on, on one of my TikToks... Someone was like, where is this? Yeah. Are you in California? I'm like, yeah. It, no, we're, we're right in the middle. I, I said, you know, and like I said, if you have more to do, then just keep doing it. I think you're, uh, personally, I think you're on the right track. Thank you. You, you definitely Thank have you. found something that. I think you start a podcast and I can help you with that. I'm just putting it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, my, my fiance, he's always like so encouraging and like supportive. He's always, because I was like, dude, I got asked to do a podcast. And he's like, that's awesome. And I was like, and he's like, you should start one. I was like, yeah. what? What would I talk no. about? He's like, dude, whatever you could do. Yeah. TikTok, Instagram. You can have like the business podcasts, owners that like you already make connections with. Yeah. You talk to them. It's yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's funny how this one started too. It was kind of like that because Miguel, you came on mine. I came on his just because he was like, anybody want to do one? And I was like, hmm, this sounds kind of fun to do. And, and then we yeah. did it. And then we talked after. And we like, talked after. And he's like, you're thought of doing. And I'm like, I don't think I can do one by myself. Yeah. But do I had, it. but I had the idea of what I would do. And that's how this one came up. Yeah. I even had a whole, I even had a different name for it. Uh, what was it? Dad Diaries. Oh Dad yeah, diaries. yeah. And I and all I asked because I was trying not to be, imp- I was trying not to impose, mm. but all I asked Miguel was like, a segment would just be fine, where I would just think of something that's happened with me and my kids and just yeah. talk about it. And I and I already had planned out like which ones I could talk about, and eventually more would like keep coming. Yeah. And then he was just like, "Dude, I'll do it with you." That's awesome. That's how it just and it just like yeah. just kind of networking again. Networking. It just kind of yeah. just <laughs> <laughs> he went for don't, it, don't, don't, don't pull it back. This time. Don't pull it back. I'm not gonna be fooled, but don't pull it back. This time. He almost went for I it. I almost did, but I'm like, I don't want to be shut down again. <laughs> every <laughs> every time I uh, like do anything like that to Crystal, she goes like, "Why do you make that face?" Like some some <laughs> <weird>, like <laughs> like when there's music, I always go like like <laughs> like why are you biting your you're bottom just, lip? Just I don't know. It just happens. But no, I think uh, starting period is a good way to to end this podcast. That to be honest, be perfect, uh, but yeah, no, just starting. Um, you have an idea, just try anybody it out. out there start exactly. your podcast, start your just YouTube yeah. video. Try it out. Just do it. Everybody already has a like a YouTube channel, but they just haven't posted anything they on posted there. Anything, yeah, yeah, just yeah. just, just do, do mine. Mine was just mine was just putting in a video, making music, just for my own and listening pleasure. That was yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, there's so many people in this world that like. You, like they'll find something that attracts you, you know, to like one another and like yeah. they'll connect with you. Yeah. yeah. Just do it. Just, just go at your it. own pace. And if you got something, you'll know you got it. And if you need help, if you need help with podcasts, let me know. Yeah. I have the equipment. Yeah. I've spent a lot of money on all this stuff so I can help you. Do you want to, do you want to ring the uh, chime for us? Oh. Uh, I don't know which one. It was uh, it? Wait, I, I have, have, this I is have a, a final word. question. Oh, oh okay, okay. How do you guys say Paso Robles? <laughs> I say Paso Robles. You okay. say Robles? I say Robles. <laughs> I'll answer this and then I'll ask you a question. Okay. Paso Robles. I say Paso Robles. Okay. Robles. Robles. Is it, just, is it just something you thought about? Because I had this weird conversation with Crystal the other day, too. <laughs> no, because people always like, it's Robles. I'm like, technically, it's, no, it's Paso it, Robles. It's Paso, no, it's in reality, it's, it's, it's Paso Robles. Robles. Yeah, no, and, and, yeah. it's Robles. <laughs> I, I have this thing for me where since I'm, I'm bilingual. Mm-hmm. I have this thing that if I'm talking English, I'm going to go English all the way. If I'm uh, doing Spanish, I'm going to go all the way. Because Spanish. what hate, what I gets really annoying is when I say it in another way and somebody, they can't understand me until I say it. Until you say it, yeah. It happened in Mexico. Like a really short story. It happened in Mexico to me when I was, when I was younger. Um, there was, there was, I would go play in the arcades all the time. And, and one of the store owners, because my mom like knew them all and stuff back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um I'd be like, you know, what do you like to play or something? I'd be like, oh, I love playing Metal Slug. I was like, me gusta mucho Metal Slug. <laughs> and and he's like, he's like, what? The no, no, he's like, he's like, okay, it was a Metal Slug. I mean, yeah, that's how I'm gonna say it. Yeah. And I was like, Metal Slug. Metal. Slug. And, and he's like, oh, see, sí, a Metal. I'm like, 
So, and it happens when I'm doing it in English. I would just, <laughs> if I'm talking English and have to say a Spanish word, I hate going into like the Spanish voice because then I feel like I'm being uppity about it. Yeah. Like being yeah. like, like, like proper yeah. about it. Like, because so if, if we're going to talk about pinatas, like I just did now, I'm going to say piñata. piñata if I'm not going to be like, yeah, so went over there, I saw... Um, a Peppa Pig piñata like it just oh yeah 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 for me it, it makes okay. me feel to be, weird to be honest there's been times where I, I pronounce it the correct way and you can kind of see who the person I'm talking to is like they pay more attention because I'm like pronouncing it the right way yeah. like if you go over there there's some pretty good tacos and uh, you know, I hate doing that <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's and you get a, you know and then so you can weird. also order a flauta with you yeah. know it's yeah. a me thing it, yeah but it's true because like I feel like we all speak it I mean speak Spanish and English yeah and, very well you know so like we don't have an accent you know and then when you say a mexican word it's like oh wow that's like really mexican. i've been told i sound white so i mean same <laughs> yeah. I, I worked at a factory when i was 18 for like six months and i was talking it was all mexicans in there besides me and tom and we were working there and i was talking to them in spanish and they're like Eres nacido aquí? and like yeah no se nota like I, okay. I, I can they can i don't have, apparently i don't have an accent so have, you know I, score for me my pigmentation and that <laughs> just it, it's, I'm in the middle somewhere. I'm gonna get this or I'm gonna get that. No. Yeah. So uh do you figure out which one out? I don't know. I think you wanna press that. Just press one of them. It's, press it's, it. it's just yeah, press this it's one. our it's our uh because this one's go. the that's no. No, that's oh. go for it. That's a I want the nothing. I don't think that has this one's this one right here. That's our time is up. <laughs> Time's up. So yeah, <laughs> thank you. We're yeah. still, I'm still, like I'm that. still keeping that one. I'm still keeping I that like one. I think that, it's just yeah. funny. I think it's just too funny. Cool. Um, um, thank you, Adri. Again, what's, uh, what's Instagram your handle? Yeah, oh, go my ahead. Yeah. Instagram and YouTube handle. too. Oh, my YouTube. So Instagram handle is Central Coasting with Adri. Uh, TikTok handle is the same, Central Coasting with Adri, and I think YouTube might be the same too, Central Coasting with Adri. It's on your Instagram anyway, right? Yeah. yeah that, okay, so everybody go follow her, give her shout outs, give us shout outs. Yeah. <laughs> and Tell her uh, if you visit the places she says. Yeah. And stay tuned for that restroom one. 